Good evening, I'm Dave Savini. The countdown has officially begun for the 2024 Bank of America Chicago Marathon. Thousands of runners from across the globe will set their mark and make their own history. Andrew, Andrew uh, Ramos is at Grand Park and caught up with some of those runners taking on the Windy City. Andrew. And we're just hours away from the Chicago Marathon from stepping off right here at Grand Park and with so much excitement already building the not so much exciting part that's happening tomorrow, those street closures. They've been training for months and in some cases years. More than 50,000 runners from all around the world converge on Chicago this weekend got to show us what they got. Go. Training's tough. I did two 20 milers. That was the longest I did. Um, and But I, I like training in Boston because it's so hilly. I think it prepares for something a little flatter. We caught up with some of those runners earlier today as they picked up their official marathon bibs along with their swag bags. Many of them excited First one. And for Ruben Roblin, it'll be tackling the unknown. I'm a little anxious. I'm a little nervous. Uh, first time. I My training went well, but it could have went better. His five-year-old son, on the other hand, couldn't be more prepared for when he takes his spot in the cheering squad. Go, Dad! It's also going to be Lauren Strandberg's first marathon. The Norwood Park woman had no shortage of obstacles getting to this point where in 2020, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, where she thought the chronic disease was going to sideline her from ever running again. But on Sunday, she's defying the odds. It's just incredible that I can work my way up from the running three miles to here I am running 26 miles. It all kicks off just after 7 a.m. where runners will make the 26.2 mile trek across the city, weaving through 29 neighborhoods, soaking in the very best of Chicago. And cheering them on, an estimated 1.7 million spectators that are expected to line up along the route. While some of the street closures around the start and finish line are already in place, restrictions along a bulk of the marathon route will go into effect Sunday morning. This map gives you an idea of what to expect and what to avoid. And with heavy congestion and traffic expected to paralyze much of the city tomorrow, officials are encouraging everyone to take public transportation. Reporting from Grant Park, Andrew Ramos, CBS News, Chicago.